Talk Baseball. Today is the opening day for the Major League. The Minor League starts up next week. We want to bring in Larry Battelle. He's the president of Alliance Sports. And Larry, I know Alliance Sports just announced a partnership with Oak Tree Capital where you're going to be giving loans to minor league teams in need of cash. So we wanted to bring you on as the season gets underway because you know what you're talking about. You own and operate a couple of minor league teams. Just give us a sense of the financial situation that these teams are in as they start a new season one year into the pandemic. Yeah, and actually the season starts May 4th um, to add to the the uncertainty and, and the dynamics of what we're facing in the business right now. But you know, as, as I think people realize, there was no minor league baseball season last year. Um, and, and that means for us that, that we had no revenue last year. Um, so COVID had a, a very big effect on our business. In, and, and that's something that we will probably not recover from you know, even this year or, or going into next year as fans get more comfortable returning to the stadiums. Um, the one thing that that's interesting about minor league baseball is that 100% of our revenue is driven from people coming to the ballpark. We don't have television contracts. We don't have national sponsorship deals like the major league sports do. So we are very reliant on fans in the ballpark. You know, last year we had zero. You know, this year we're hoping you know that that most will return. You know, subject to rules and regulations and keeping people safe. Uh, but our revenue is going to be severely constrained this year. And that all creates a, the need for, for money and the need for capital. Um, and and sure. minor league baseball typically didn't have great, great means of financing to begin with. And, and given the current situation, that has gotten even worse. And Larry, this brings up memories because I, I, I recall going to, uh, it was the Maine Guides. This is a billion years ago, AAA team played in Old Orchard Beach, Maine. But I'm curious, do the minor league teams, could they have accessed, not that it's a solution, but accessed any of the government programs, the PPP, to help get through the, the pandemic when they're not playing, and then your financing to get to the next stage? Yeah, great question. And we did, um, you know, both programs, uh, were, were able to be used by minor league baseball teams. But just to put some perspective around that, on average, and there, there were 160 minor league baseball teams, now there are 120 because there was contraction uh, going into this season. But on average, a minor league baseball team's top line revenue was about $5 million a year. I will tell you that you know PPP loans probably filled about half a million dollars of that. So one-tenth of our revenue you know, may have been mitigated by PPP loans. Obviously, there were other ways that we mitigated, you know, with layoffs and, and furloughs and cutting expenses and things like that. But for the most part, I think the average minor league baseball team on a, on a bottom line basis lost two to $3 million last year. And that's a big number for a minor league baseball team. Hey, Larry, real quick, just going back to what you said earlier, we thought AAA started next week. Has that changed now with the recent surge in COVID? Um, I don't know if it changed with the recent surge in COVID, but it changed. May 4th is now opening day for AAA. Actually, May 4th is trip opening day for all levels. And I think what Major League Baseball decided was that they were comfortable putting, you know, let's say 25 to 30 players into 30 different markets with the proper protocols, but they were a little hesitant to put 25 to 30 players into 120 markets, which are you know, what we have in minor league baseball at this point in time. So I, I think they're hoping that, you know, we we put in place the protocols that they've set, that there are, are more players vaccinated and that they can more comfortably ramp up safely, you know, in the minor leagues come May 4th versus April 1st, which is what it was supposed to be. Larry Battelle, we really appreciate you taking the time to join us today. Thanks so much for hopping on here with us, President of Alliance Sports.